Hello, everybody. Your directions are here for this foldable that you have. Hopefully you can see me because I'm going to be showing you some stuff. Anyway, we're going to work on just adding and subtracting rules when we have one step integer or one step equations. So please take these notes and then we'll fold it up and put it in our interactive notebook. OK, so let's start over here with subtract. If we see subtract, what do we do? So it says five pizzas are added to a delivery order X. So what does that look like? Well, let's write. And I'm writing with my mouse pad, so it's going to be a little messy. So five pizzas are added to a delivery order X. Let's start with X. Whoops, that's an X. And add five to that. And the total now is 16. Are you writing this with me? I hope. How many original orders were there? So we have addition. What do we need to do? We need to do the inverse. What's the inverse of addition? We need to subtract. So we're going to subtract the five away from positive five so that they cancel out. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to isolate the X, get the X by itself so we know the value of X. If I do that on one side of the equation, I should do it to the other side of the equation. And draw a line. This was my X. I'm going to bring the X down. Do not write the zero here. We just don't need to. It's a waste of time. But I'm going to write my equal sign. And what is 16 minus 5? It is 11. So now we do a real quick check. X plus 5 equals 16. And I substitute in 11 plus 5 Hopefully you can write, you know, better than me. And that equals 16. Always do this last step. You need to show that both sides are equal. And the reason you need to show that is because next year in eighth grade, sometimes we'll have two sides that are not equal. <clears throat> so you need to show that. You need to prove it to us. Let's go over here to addition. A bank account balance was at negative seven. But after money was M was added, the account balance was 20. How much was added? So this is the equation we have. Now notice this. This is a negative 7. We all know negative 7 is the same thing as subtraction. So what's the opposite? Well, to get rid of this, to get m alone, I need to add the 7 to both sides. So let's add that over here and here. In case you forgot, both sides mean of the equation on the other side of the equal sign. So what am I left with? I'm left with M. And on this side, I'm left with 27. And this means M equals 27. Let's, let's do our check. Negative 7, that's a 7, plus M equals 20. And that means I have to substitute 27 in. Oh, that's a 7. Oh, boy. Plus 27. And this is the other reason you have to do this last step, because when we're working with negatives, it's not as clear in your head what the answer is. So negative 7 plus 27, let's think about this. The negative 7, 7 bad guys, 27 good guys. Okay, so who's going to win this fight? The good guys. By how many? They're going to win by 20, because we have to subtract. Okay, and 20 equals 20. We did our check. Boom, done. I'm going to scroll down. If you need to pause this, you should do so now. Now we are going to try some problems. Let me move some things around here so it's not in the way. Hopefully it'll let me move. Move that there. I'll move me down over here. All right, let's do some addition and subtraction. So let's look over here. Oh, there's my mouse. Okay, here's the equation. And I know I need to get y alone. We call that isolating the variable. What's the opposite of negative 4? I need to add 4 to both sides. The reason I'm adding 4 is so that I can get rid of the negative 4 so I can get y alone. Again, don't write the 0. Just write what's left. At 8 plus 4 is 12. Now, I'm not going to check every single one of these, but you do need to know how to do one. So I'm going to check this one. y, always write the original, minus 4 equals 8. y is 12 minus 4 equals 8. 
And again, the last line is really important. What's 12 minus 4? It is 8. I'm checking to make sure that that really does work. Again, like I said, in eighth grade, they're hard to check sometimes, so make sure you do. Let's try this hard one underneath. This is the same problem as the one above, except if you look, there are decimals involved. But we're going to do it in the same way. We need to get rid of this part so we can get A alone. So the opposite of that is to add. Okay, now don't forget, when I add decimals, what do I have to do? Line up the decimals. So here we go, 0 0.43. We're almost done here, guys. A equals, I hope you can read my writing, it's 8 point point six three. I would like you to do the rest of these on your own before you submit this video of your finished work. Let's try a couple of... Um, Addition, sorry, couldn't tell what that was. <clears throat> now, if I'm adding four, I want to do the opposite, which is subtracting. <clears throat> and when I'm done, I have y equals, and in this case, it's eight minus four, which is four. Let's do a check. Y plus four equals eight. I'm substituting in four plus four equals eight, and I don't know if you can tell, but four plus four is eight. So our work checked. Okay, let's try this decimal. This is addition. I need to get A alone, so I'm going to subtract 8.2. This is different than the one we did on the other side. If I'm subtracting 8.2, ooh-wee, lining up my decimals, but now remember, I'm taking away more than I had. I can put a zero placeholder in here, and listen, you have a calculator. So if this is a struggle, no worries. Do it on your calculator. But in the meantime, the difference is negative 7.77. You should always check, but because this video is taking a little too long, I'm not going to check that one. Now, I think we should probably try this one here. What happens when I'm subtracting a negative? It becomes plus becomes a positive. So really this problem is m plus 4 equals 10. So now I've just gotten you started with this. I'd like to see that you can do it on your own. And I'm actually going to go back over here for a second. Um, if I am adding a negative, that's the same thing as what? Subtracting. So make sure you've set that up first. Your integer rules are constantly coming back to haunt us. So make sure you know those integer rules. And then I also want to look at this one because this makes me a little bit nervous too. All right, this means these are two sides of the equation, right? I need to get this variable alone. So what do I need to move? I need to move away the three. Well, what kind of a three is it? Even though it's being added here, it's a negative three. So really the only question you need to ask yourself is, what do I need to add to this negative three to get it out of there? The opposite or the additive inverse of negative three is positive three. So add three to both sides. Bam. Okay, now these are gone, so don't write the zero. On this side, I have an X left, I have an equal sign. Now let's talk good guys and bad guys. The negative 18 is 18 bad guys, three good guys. Who's gonna win that fight? The bad guys, by how many? 15. So that's our final answer. Okay, you need to finish the rest before you submit the video of your extended, of, of these notes. This is going to get this is your sheet that you have right now. You're going to fold these in like this so they become flaps. We're only doing addition and subtraction today. And then you're going to take your notebook. Let's see if I can find an empty page for this. And you're going to put it in right here. But at the top of the page, let's also write solving one step equations. Can you see it, I hope? And so this is going to be in like this. I'm doing the opposite. It's really hard to see. 
and you're, you're going to glue this in and then you'll have a foldable so if you forget what to do you can look back okay good luck